Welcome back folks, it is Jafer, and today we're going to take a look at another 60% keyboard. I feel like I've been saying that often, but really, it's just a very popular size again. I thought it was going to die down, but we've had recent releases from HyperX, Corsair, and there's been numerous group buys in that size, so it's definitely not dying anytime soon, and we have a brand new entry, Kinesis Gaming's TKO. Now this is one that's supposed to fit right in the middle of your standard off-the-shelf production board and then also your custom. Let's see if it fits that mold and if it's going to be the perfect keyboard for you. Right away it's screaming detail with an impressive carrying case molded specifically for this 60% keyboard although other boards do fit in that realm if it had the same footprint and room for accessories as well. I don't plan on registering for any LAN events anytime soon. Kinesis makes it clear with the recent signing of the arguably the best Overwatch League team out there, the San Francisco Shock, that this is definitely designed for competitive purposes. Included not only is the keyboard and the carrying case, but you also get a keycap and switch puller, as well as four additional switches opposite of what your board is going to come with, a braided cable, and a quick look guide to shortcuts. And out of all of that, the most exciting thing that I saw coming out of unboxing this is going to be this space bar. And we will get into why the space bar is so exciting later on in the video. Coming in at $159.95 USD, the TKO is what I would call a premium production keyboard. Using that 60% layout on an aluminum plate and a plastic chassis, it's going to offer hot swap capabilities so you can immediately have a one-up over the competition as there's a lot of 60% production boards out there that do not have the hot swap capabilities. This adds an immense value over the competition as it's not only a one and done board like your Huntsman Mini, your Ally Origin 60, or even the ever popular Ducky 1-2 Mini. It's also a five pin, so there's no need to trim your favorite switches, unlike the drop alt or control. Something that's really been lacking in the gaming scene as far as keyboards go, is gonna be something called ergonomics. We see it often in our gaming mice, but not so much in our keyboards, and that's where the TKO is gonna shine. Underneath this 541 gram keyboard are 12, yes, 12 feet. Four long rubber feet that's gonna be super grippy on any surface that you're gaming on, and two fold-out feet at each corner, one small and one large. You can either use your standard angle and be boring, or big brain it with some tenting angles while gaming. Tenting is a term often used in the split keyboard scene as it reduces strain on your wrists and all of those fun internals that are going to be unnaturally sitting if you're just using your wrists at a rusting flat standpoint on a surface. Offering on my account nine different configurations, the TKO has a ton of angles to play around with, something unheard of in the gaming space. Not all will be ideal for you to play with, so you definitely want to play around with it and find your comfort. The RGB is beautiful, very apparent, but not overpowering. With the help of a translucent top housing, per key lighting shines through bright and consistent. There is a diffuser that's sandwiched between the chassis and the top plate that shines nicely along the sides and points downward where it's facing you, so that way it's going to take advantage of any surface reflection. Software is not required, but it can be installed to deactivate any lighting or adjust any lighting profiles of your choosing. So my unit came with Kale Box Reds. Uh, it's a linear switch that feels smooth and quiet. I actually prefer this over the standard Cherry MX Red. Its design isn't new, but it is durable due to that box stem and there's less likelihood of any debris ever having a chance of building up inside of the switch itself. There's also less wobble at the stem compared to your standard Cherry or Gateron offering. If linear isn't your flavor, you can opt in for some box browns, which are tactile, or the popular clicky box whites. Either option is going to have your standard MX stem, so you can replace the keycaps on this with your favorite set. Out of the box, these are really nice double shot PBT keycaps with a clean shine through with a smooth, comfortable surface, nothing too roughly textured. Not only are the switches and keycaps of premium quality, but so are these plate mounted stabilizers. They do not move whatsoever. They don't rattle at all. And because they are your standard plate stabilizers, you have the option to upgrade them if you'd like. Now they're always going to have to be plate mounted, but there are premium additions out there if you ever wanted to definitely enhance these stabilizers. But from my experience with these, 
I did not notice any rattle whatsoever. Let's go ahead and give you a sound test of everything. There's a detachable USB-C cable included. It's a braided cable. It gets the simple task done. I can't really complain about that. Luckily, it's not hidden in some proprietary black hole where you can only use one certain type of connection. Uh, you can use your favorite coiled or aviator cable as it is welcomed here in that cutout. With the 60% layout, you're gonna find access to all the keys of a full-size keyboard by going into that function layer, pressing and holding the function key and pairing it with any appropriate key or command you're looking to use is easy as ever as the side legends are extremely clear and legible. I do wish though that the arrow keys were closer to that function key, so that way I'm not doing some weird interpretive dance with my hands. Another really awesome feature with this keyboard, and you might have noticed it right at the beginning, is gonna be that triple space bar design. And it's gonna take some getting used to if you've never used a split bar on a keyboard. Essentially, it is three individual switches that you can customize to your liking. You can leave it default and have just three space bars or you can remap them to your choosing. I found remapping the Q and C abilities within Valorant really allowed me to focus on my movement of my WASD without ever having to displace my fingers. Think of this like an additional side button set of your mouse. The more options, the more flexibility we end up with, which is always going to be a win. Either way though, if you even want to go in the route of just your standard spacebar and that's what you're comfortable with, you're more than welcome to as Kinesis Gaming does include a spacebar as well as a stabilizer and it comes with two covers that's going to cover up where those two previous switches were so that way it eliminates any debris from building up in the PCB. In the end, I feel like the TKO definitely completes its mission with fitting right in between that spectrum of your production off-the-shelf keyboards as well as being right below your high-end expensive custom. Coming in at that sale price of $159.95, you're getting a ton of options on a very durable and solid keyboard. And honestly, I think it kind of blows the option of a drop alt or drop control out of the water and it's just an antiquated keyboard at this point when you have something valued at similar price with so much more to offer. That does it for me. I will leave a link in the description below if you're looking for one yourself. I know that they are selling them on Amazon as well as I believe Walmart at certain authorized retailers. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And until next time, I'm Jay Fern. You guys stay safe.